You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. Today, we have another special guest. We're going to talk to superstar Paul White himself. You know him, the big show. He's in this amazing new movie, Marcus, Live for Family, written and directed by J.R. Poli. Has some other amazing stars in this movie, Owen Miller, Katana Malone. But right now we're going to Paul White. How are you doing today? I'm doing very really good, Shema. I'm doing very good. I, I appreciate the props about being a star in the movie, but uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to be a part of. So. And this movie is a special movie. It's about family. It's about another chance. Tell the audience the backstory of this film. Well, the backstory of this film is about, uh, uh, the real backstory is it was written and directed by J.R. Polian. These are some of his real experiences he's had with, with mental health struggles. And um, the, the main character, um, uh, Owen, plays the character Marcus. Uh, it's the struggles that Marcus has with his mental health problems. Um, you know, so, so many people around the world struggle with mental health issues and, and even uh, being able to communicate those mental health issues somehow because we don't know how. Uh, my character, uh, I play a, a co-worker uh, of uh, Marcus, his name Gus, and I'm probably Gus's really only friend uh, in this film, and you can tell that Gus knows that there's something wrong with Marcus but really doesn't know how to communicate with him, and it's a very dramatic portrayal of people with mental health issues. Um, that's one of the things that attracted me. Originally, this was a like a ten or fifteen minute short film that won a bunch of awards. And when I saw that short film, I was like, "Holy crap! I do Yeah, I'll be a part of this." Um, and uh, just what they've done by expanding that short film and, and carrying it further with the with the whole story, it uh, it's really moving. If you've ever had any friends or family or you've dealt with mental health issues yourself, it really gives you a perspective on how to, to really see what what people go through. I thought it was a great depiction. So it was obviously written from a guy's own um, uh, personal hell that he went through. So for me to be a part of something uh, this well done, this dramatic, is a big honor. Like you just said, this was a serious role that you play in this movie. Tell us about how you push yourself and how important that was to do that in this important movie. Well, it was different. I, I think that's the thing that I look for um, now. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I, I've established the fact that I can do the funny stuff for the big show show. I've, I've done the comedy. I think people know um, they've followed my career for a few years. I've done the comedy, and uh, I can pull off a pretty serious <laughs> badass when I have to. But the fact to play something completely different, to play something that has uh, that's not funny, um, that's a, a real a real person, a real character, a real friend that's helping another friend deal with these issues. Um, it was a great uh, a great opportunity for me. Uh, at seven foot, four hundred pounds, you don't get a lot of chances to play in, in a in a touching film and a dramatic film and, and have a good role. It just uh, it expands my uh, portfolio, if you will. <laughs> and you also had a chance to work with some amazing people in this movie, like Katana Malone. What was it like working with her? Well, Katana has so much talent. But another thing too, when you're in Katana's presence, she is so beautiful. Just it, it's. It, you catch yourself all the time going, wow, she's really beautiful. And I, know, and I mean that in an in a extremely complimentary way because she's a very confident performer. She's a great actress, but she just has a real uh, natural presence about her that she just, you know, it, it, it really comes across. And for her, this is a great opportunity for her to get to get a little break out for people to be introduced to her as an actress. And uh, I really think this film is going to do really well for Owen and Katana because even working with Owen, like I was, um, you know, this is a great little film and I saw the, the short piece of it and then working with Owen, it's like, damn, this dude's got talent. Like, you know, when, even when you're around uh, athletes or, or wrestlers or actors or anyone that's got that next level talent, you feel it and see it right away when you're in the entertainment business and just being around Owen is like, wow, this dude's the next level. I mean, he's really, really great at, at, at what he does and finding the character and pulling the rules out and his preparation time and just his, his presence uh, was really a pleasure to be around to see work. And the main character, Marcus, he has some 
battles that he has to face and address finding purpose but you know it's like that man in the mirror type thing tell us about that and it's what we all have to face Jamal. we all have to face that that person in the mirror and and we all have uh, a lot of thoughts in our heads either positive thoughts or, or negative thoughts that's just part of being human and unfortunately some have a lot more uh negative thoughts that are that are that seem impossible to overcome and, and marcus dealing with this it's a like I said, I thought it was a really unique insight on how this was done. Because it really, for me, it really explained a lot of what people with mental health are, are really dealing with uh, in a performance that I could uh, instantly absorb and understand when it happens. You know, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those, oh, okay, I really get that. I feel that, you know. Once again, man, it's a true honor talking to the one and only Paul White, the big show, and his role that he plays in this amazing new movie, Marcus Live for Family, starring Owen Miller and Katana Malone. You want to watch this movie, Marcus, now available in theaters, video on demand, and digital. It's an amazing story and amazing message. I want to say thank you to you, Paul White, for taking time out of your super busy schedule talking to us today. Um, man, it was an honor. Dude, congratulations on that voice, too. Good gracious. You know, you've heard of, you've heard of velvet voices, my man. You got a velvet voice, so awesome. I Thank you very much for the man. time. Yes, sir. I am Refocus Radio is brought to you by Foo Four Star and Holy Crab. Foo Four Star is a family-owned Asian restaurant in San Antonio, Texas. We have been a local favorite for Asian cuisine for over ten years. With nothing but full smiles and fast service, you'll be leaving satisfied. Come on in for some authentic Vietnamese food. Holy Crab is one of a kind Cajun Creole style seafood restaurant located in Universal City, Texas. We offer traditional seafood items as well as chicken and steak. We also offer seafood boils. Come give us a try, you won't be disappointed. You can find these two eateries in Universal City, Texas at 2921 Pat Booker Road.